A Texas girl was born in jail, with her life seemingly over before it began. If only the little girl then could see Aurora Sky Kastner as she is now. A strong, confident young woman who is achieving all her dreams. 18 years after her mother gave birth in Galveston County Jail, Texas, Kastner is proving her beginning irrelevant. She has now made a name for herself despite being born into poverty and crime. Kastner knew that she wanted more for her life than what she was born into, and she set a goal for herself to make it there. She has since graduated high school at the top of her class and is moving toward an even bigger dream. Kastner's father raised her alone after he picked her up from jail the day she was born. Her mother has had nothing to do with her life since the day she was born, but she has made it nevertheless. If only Kastner had known what thousands of people would later find out about her on the day she was born, she would know that everything would turn out better than she could have imagined, despite her unfavorable upbringing. Talking about her early days, Kastner is not ashamed to say that she was born in prison. Although Kastner and her father moved around a lot when she was younger, they always remained in Montgomery County, where she developed a competitive spirit in school. Kastner admitted that her grades meant a lot to her, and she found much satisfaction in having all A's on her report card at the end of the school year. She attended Reeves Elementary School and loved reading. Her teachers quickly noticed that there was something special about Kastner. Kastner's teachers knew she would benefit from the CISD Project Mentor Program. The program partners community volunteers with students. Kastner's mentor was Mona Hamby, who said, I was given a paper about her. Her hero was Rosa Parks, her favorite food was tacos from Dairy Queen, and she loved to read. I thought this sounds like a bright little girl. I still have that paper today. Hamby and Kastner then got to know one another. With Kastner telling Hamby about her parental struggles and knowing she needed more than help with her schoolwork, Kastner needed someone to be there for her personal troubles too. Kastner and Hamby quickly formed a close relationship. Hamby told Kastner that she also grew up without a mother. Kastner confessed that she had only ever spoken to her birth mother once since her father picked her up from the prison when she was born. Hamby became a parental figure to Kastner, helping her pick out glasses, get haircuts, go to doctor's appointments, and even sign her up for things that most children have the privilege to do, like summer camp. Kastner admitted that being around Hamby was incredibly different from how she grew up and knew that wasn't bad. The young woman felt that everything Hamby taught her was somehow valuable. Kastner also had some other mentors along the way, like the president of the Conroe Noons Lions Club, Warner Phelps, who confirmed Kastner had grown up in the club and deserved every accolade she earned. One of these accolades was when she won a $2,000 scholarship from the club for a speech about the fentanyl crisis. Talking about her address, Phelps gushed, she earned it. Her poise and presentation skills stood out. Kastner revealed that belonging to the Academy for Health and Science Professions at Conroe High School made her want to excel academically. The Academy aims to prepare students with vested interests in science and maths for success in the future. When Kastner graduated high school at the top of her class, Hamby took to Instagram to share the happy occasion. She shared a snap of Kastner standing on a stage in a blue dress, smiling as she spoke. Aside from photos of her on graduation day, Hamby has also shared pictures of herself and Castenier doing many other things throughout the years. She shows the young woman off on social media readily. It was Hamby who helped Kastner realize her dream of going to an Ivy League school. Hamby and her husband toured the Harvard campus with Kastner last March. Ever since then, Kastner knew she wanted to study there. After setting her heart on Harvard, Kastner enlisted the help of a Boston University professor named James Wallace, who helped her prepare her application. Kastner revealed that he had helped her tell her story in the best way possible. She graduated number three in her class at Conroe High School and will now attend Harvard to study law with the help of her mentors. She has defied the odds and become more than she ever dreamed. Many people who have never even met Kastner are proud of her and the journey she's been on to make something great of her life. A Facebook poser containing her story was met with loving and proud reactions from people worldwide. Some wished her well in her Harvard and future careers, and others talked about what an inspirational young woman she was. Most could not believe that one young woman could do so much for herself without a mother's help. While Kastner's story is one of triumph and glory, some children have not had the same help that Kastner had throughout her life. In fact, some children suffer at the hands of the very people who are meant to love and cherish them for all eternity.